to begin, we have to realize that coffee is 98% water. And that means you want to start with water that's, that tastes good. You know, if you don't like the taste of your water, you're not going to like the taste of your coffee. That other 2% is what's called like dissolvable solids from your coffee bean. Uh, and that's portions of the coffee that have been dissolved in the water that you've extracted. And in your final cup, you're looking at how much of those solids you've taken out of the bean. How much of those solids are in your coffee? So we use hot water because water is a better solvent at higher temperatures. What's called extraction theory and roasting theory. What I'm looking for when I'm brewing coffee, what I'm looking for when I'm roasting coffee, how to make a cup that tastes sweet, because each origin sort of brings its own specific set of flavors to the table. And when I'm roasting, I want to highlight those flavors and, and bring those out and bring those to the surface. And so when I talk about extraction theory, it's looking at which variables uh, influence the strength of your coffee or the, the extraction. Certain things like the temperature of the water, the different roast levels you could go to, the grind that you choose, the agitation, how much it's you know stirred, that all affect how much of that bean is extracted into the water. Right now I'm making our chocolate, our mocha. Our chocolate is all single origin chocolate from Ghana, so it's not sourced from different countries and stuff all over the world. It's delicious. Miel is Spanish for honey. So miel is a honey latte with cinnamon in it. And you can get it hot or blended or iced. It's a very sweet drink. If you're looking for something that's not too creamy and savory, a miel is a great, a great option. Would you say that a brew is stronger than espresso? <laughs> I mean, the cold brew is strong, but I think espresso is definitely stronger than cold brew. Yeah? Mm -hmm. In that case. And what espresso is, Literally, it's a French word that means pressed coffee. And so it's high pressure water pushed through finely ground coffee. Like we talked about the extraction theory, you're looking at how many solids you extract from your coffee. And with espresso, you're extracting a lot because of the high pressure, that's sort of an agitation. Your water is really hot. The grind is really, really fine. So there's a lot of surface area for the water to touch the coffee and pull those solids out. So it's going to be a little bit more of a syrupy drink if you if you drink it. Hopefully, if done really, really well, it should taste good. Just a latte with no syrup in it should be something enjoyable. Um, and that's what we're going for here, Fairfoots.